This is lesson 4.1, classifying triangles. Your objectives are to identify and classify triangles by angle measures and by side measures. If all three angles of a triangle are acute, then it's an acute triangle. If all three angles are congruent, then it's equiangular. If one angle is obtuse, then it's an obtuse triangle. And if one angle is right, then it's a right angle. Remember also that equiangular triangles are always acute. Classify each triangle as acute, equiangular, obtuse, or right. For number one, look at the angle measures. This one has a right angle, so it's a right triangle. Right triangles have one right angle. Look at number two. Number two has one obtuse angle. And so it's an obtuse triangle. If it has one obtuse angle, it's an obtuse triangle. For number three, since all angles are the same, it's equiangular. And since all angles are acute, it's also acute. Remember, equiangular triangles are always acute. For number four, look at the angle measures. All angles are acute, so it's an acute triangle. Number five, this one has a right angle, so it's a right triangle. Look at the angles on number six. Number six has an obtuse angle, so it's an obtuse triangle. Remember, if all angles are acute, then it's acute. If all angles are congruent, then it's equiangular and acute, and that congruent measure is going to be 60 degrees. If it has one obtuse angle, it's an obtuse triangle, and if it has one right angle, then it's a right triangle. You can also classify triangles by side lengths. If all three sides are congruent, then it's an equilateral triangle. If at least two sides are congruent, then it's isosceles. So equilateral triangles are also isosceles since they do have at least two sides congruent. And if all sides are different, then it's scaling. Classify each triangle as equilateral isosceles or scaling. Number one, look at the side lengths. They're all different, and when they're all different, it's a scaling triangle. Number two, all sides are the same length, so it's equilateral. And remember, equilateral triangles are also isosceles because at least two sides are congruent. Number three, all sides are different, so it's a scaling triangle. Number four, this one has two congruent sides, so it's isosceles. Number five also has two congruent sides, the 32x and the 32x. Even though we don't know what x is, we do know that those values are the same. This one is isosceles. Number six, all sides are congruent, so it's equilateral. And since at least two sides are congruent, it's also isosceles. Remember, equilateral triangles are always isosceles. Scaling triangles have all sides of different lengths. Isosceles triangles have at least two sides congruent, 
and equilateral triangles have all three sides congruent. Number 7. Find x and the length of each side if triangle RST is an equilateral triangle. Well, if it's equilateral, then all sides are congruent. So we can pick any two sides and make them equal each other. Like 2x plus 2 equals 3x. Any two sides, you can make their measures equal each other. I have an equation. Let's solve for x. Subtract 2x from each side to get the x's all on one side. That gives you 2 equals x. So x is 2. That's the first answer. Then it says find the length of each side. Well, let's substitute that 2 in for each side length. For rs, which is 2x plus 2, it's really 2 times 2 plus 2, which is 6. For segment ST, it's 3x, and x is 2, so it's 3 times 2, which is 6. And for segment RT, 5 times x minus 4 is really 5 times 2 minus 4, which is also 6. And they should all be the same thing because it's equilateral. It's a good way to check your work. If you substitute it in and it turned out they were all different, then you knew you made a mistake. Since all sides are equilateral, pick any two, make their measures equal, and there's your equation. Number 8. Find x and the length of each side if triangle ABC is isosceles with the measure of segment AB equal to the measure of segment BC. So we know that AB and BC are the same. Those are the two congruent sides in the isosceles triangle. Since those are congruent, make their measures equal. 4y equals 3y plus 2. And we'll solve for y. Subtract 3y from each side. You get y equals 2. That's your first answer. And then substitute 2 in for the y's in each of the side lengths. AB is 4y, which is 4 times 2, which is 8. AC is 3y, which is 3 times 2, which is 6. And BC is 3y plus 2, which is 3 times 2 plus 2, which is 8. AB and BC are both 8. They should be the same thing because it said that those were the two sides that had equal lengths. So you've done it. So remember, if a triangle has all acute angles, it's acute. If there's one obtuse angle, it's obtuse. One right angle makes it a right triangle. And if all angles are the same, it's equiangular. For sides, if all sides are different, it's scaling. If at least two sides are the same, it's isosceles. And if all sides are the same, it's equilateral. Now, one thing to remember, an equilateral triangle is always equiangular, which is always acute, which is always isosceles. So if it's equilateral, it has all four of those classifications. Equilateral, equiangular, acute, and isosceles.